What happens to your penis if you don't have sex? If you don't have sex for a long time, if you have sex infrequently, what can happen to your penis? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. That is the topic of today. Uh, I'm going to give you four main things that I want to talk about today that um, changes that you can see in your penis um, if you don't have sex. Let's just jump right in. Let's start with the first one, okay? Uh, the first one is that infrequent sex can actually cause the tissue uh, on your penis, around your penis, to become less elastic, okay? And it can also shrink. Now, this can actually lead to your penis being one to two centimeters shorter. So that is something that can actually happen with infre infrequent sex, um, not having sex. Your penis can kind of shrink due to decreased elasticity of the tissue around on the penis uh, and also sort of shrinkage. So keep this in mind. Now, um, I also want to mention I've done some videos on um, uh, what the average penis size is. By the way, you probably will be surprised. I'll make sure I link that video in the comments, in the description of this video, and I'll also sort of link it as well and, and the cards, etc. You can DM me if you don't see it. Um, but we're also going to talk about a few other things I think is important. I should also say, the reason why I'm doing this video is, by the way, as a family doctor, I talk about all sorts of health, you know, everything, right? Blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, et cetera, men's health, women's health. I did a video on what can happen or what happens to your vagina if you don't have sex. And uh, a lot of people watch that video asking, well, what happens to the penis if you don't have sex? So that is where this video is coming from. And I think it was an excellent question okay so the first thing is that yes your penis can kind of shrink um it can become less elastic it can um it can kind of have some shrinkage okay if sex is infrequent uh if you don't have sex all right moving on to the next thing uh, and i think this is really important you know this is not just a vanity thing and i want to be very clear when i talk about sexual health and this is something we should all feel this is about our overall health sexual health is part of overall health so in talking about what happens to your penis we're essentially also indirectly or directly talking about what happens to your health. That's one of the reasons, biggest reasons why this is so important. Okay, number two, um, what else happens if you don't have sex? Uh, what happens to your penis? Well, infrequent sex may actually lead to erectile dysfunction. That's right. Um, infrequent sex, not having sex uh, can, in, in, in a, in a uh, in a person who has a penis could actually lead to a higher risk of erectile dysfunction later on in life. Now, there's a number of reasons why this potentially may be the case. Um, and I also want to say, you know, this, this is not one size fits all, okay? But this is according to some of the best evidence we have at this time. These are some general principles that we do think apply to many people who have penises, okay? Um, but yes, it is often thought that infrequent sex, sex in some people may lead to um, a higher risk of erectile dysfunction later on in life, okay? Um, moving on, number three. Three. So, um, and, and before I tell you what number three is, let me explain just very briefly when we talk about erections, okay? Erections are very important because what happens when someone gets an erection is that there is blood flow that goes into the penis. That is one of the main things that causes it to be erect. It is blood flow. Now, remember, blood flow is really important to our whole body for so many different reasons. Blood carries oxygen, all sorts of, it does a lot of things. So blood flow in general, for most parts of our body and most things is actually a good thing. It is for a penis as well, because an erection means there is blood flow. So sex, uh, rather, or an erection, rather, um, means there's an increased blood flow to the penis, which... Uh, tends to lead to stronger and longer erections um, and sort of really contributes to healthy, a healthy penis, you know, penis health in general. Meaning uh, when you have erections, you're really contributing to your overall penis health. Let me put it that way. Hopefully that, that makes sense. You're contributing to your overall penis health because erections means that there is blood flow going into the penis and that is good for your overall penis health. Um, stronger, longer erections, et cetera, potentially. If you're not having erections, if you're uh, uh, not having erections frequently, et cetera, you may be at a disadvantage. You may not have that advantage that some other people may have if they are having, uh, you know, more frequent erections, okay? So keep that in mind. That erection is about blood flow, and blood flow uh, to the penis, that's a good thing, okay? 
Um, moving on, and by the way, I should also say too, I have some videos on um, when it co comes to sexual health, um, it's not just about what happens to the penis if you don't have sex um, or don't have sex for a long time. I do have videos also on what happens to your penis as you age, because there are changes that naturally occur, just um, like with a, a vagina, there are changes that occur. Um, but there are also things that we should understand about erectile dysfunction. I have videos on erectile dysfunction, low testosterone, the causes of ED or erectile dysfunction. Just make sure you check those out because there are other videos that may answer some other questions that may come up for you during this video. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about, the fourth and final thing is uh, uh, regarding ejaculation, okay? So I think this is so interesting, but there have been some studies that actually show that men who ejaculate more uh, may actually have a lower risk of prostate cancer. That sounds like good news to me, and I have a feeling it probably sounds like good news to a lot of people. You know, it's it's, and I think it's also hopefully reassuring to you as you're watching this video that, you know, this idea of erections, it's actually a physiological function that is healthy for our body. Ejaculation, actually, we think of as sort of a, a healthy process, okay, for our body. So this sort of plays into that and plays a role in that, that some of these studies, again, have shown that, you know, men who, who ejaculate more uh, may have a lower risk of prostate cancer, okay? Um, now, there are uh, some some studies that sort of refute this. There, you know, this, this is up for a little bit of debate, depending on, you know, which experts you talk to. Some may have a different spin, but a higher, um, higher rate of ejaculations has been a associated with a lower risk of prostate cancer. And, you know, if you're not ejaculating, you may not have this potential benefit. Okay. Um, and that, that's something really important to keep in mind. The point here is that not only should we be taking care of our minds and our heart and our kidneys and our liver and our pancreas and, and our, you know, our extremities and all sorts of stuff, our skin, but you know, our sexual organs are not just for sex. They also have a place and a role in our overall health. Um, when it comes to the penis, erections are healthy. It means blood flow. Ejaculation can be very healthy and so much more. And by the way, these four things that I mentioned are just four things that can happen if you don't uh, have sex, things that can happen to the penis if you don't have sex, potentially, right? There are so many other things. You think about the psychological aspect. Remember that sexual, uh, sexuality, sexual intercourse, um, being sexually involved with someone, there's intimacy in that. There is a lot that goes on and in with that, that gives us benefit, okay, that I'm not mentioning, that you may not get if you're not um, intimate with someone or sexually involved, okay? So keep that in mind. This is just a beginning. Um, but just remember, okay, um, that, you know, sexual health is very, very important. As always, I am an advocate of safe, safe sex, appropriate sex, consensual sex, and all of the above. What I would say is if you have any questions about any of this, um, ask your doctor. Use this video as a starting point to say, Hey doc, I want to talk to you about X, Y, or Z, A, B, C. Also take a look at some other, my, uh, my other videos about what happens to your penis as you age, um, injuries that can happen during sex, uh, low testosterone, erectile dysfunction, and things like that. Um, but, um, you know, a healthy, uh, sex life can be very, very important for our overall health. Um, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know. Please write in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Share this video with anyone you think could benefit from it. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff. Please like and follow my page on Facebook, on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, check out my website, drjencottle.com. I have a free health newsletter that goes out. Um, subscribe. Would love to. Um, I would love to keep in touch. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right, guys.